Oh, got one. Another one. There we go. For the first time ever, I actually have an ultralight rod with me with a tiny little swim bait. This is the Gancraft 70. This is basically the smaller version of the glide bait that they produce. Yeah, I have this on a uh, six pound test. But anyway, this is my first time throwing an ultralight setup for bass. Yeah, let's see what happens. So here's the bait right here. That's a Gancraft 70. I think this is possibly the world's smallest glide bait. This is the smallest one I've ever seen. So let's start casting around and see if we can get on a few bass. freaking way. I think that was a snag. Yeah. No way. Look at what I just caught. A minnow. Now that's matching the hatch right there. Check that out. Oh, got one. There we go. Nice. First fish. Finally. All right. Thanks for cooperating. Cool. There he goes. There we go. Finally, first fish after about two hours. So the way I'm working this thing is I just uh, make a cast. And then I just kind of reel it down a little bit and then just a couple of twitches here and there. It's literally all I'm doing. There we go. Nice. Second fish of the day. There we go. There we go. Bass number two. All right. Let's let him go. All right. See you later, dude. So that's two fish in about five hours. Very slow day, but I'm gonna keep on casting and hopefully I get a few more or a bigger one. When it's windy, this is the time to throw moving baits. Probably not the best for an ultralight, but I'm managing, so I actually just got another bite here. I'm gonna get back in there, see if he's still there.
Oh my God. Yes. Good one. Finally. There we go. He's got a nasty scar on him, but that's a good fish. All right, guys, here it is. That's a good fish. I'm working it like a jerk bait and uh, they can't resist. Especially in these windy conditions. This is the best time to use moving baits. Plus it's spring, so they're on the munch. Look at the stumping on this thing. There he goes. So I've been fishing for about five hours and uh, just three fish, but that last one made up for it. That was a really good fish for uh, this lake right here. So what's happening is it's super windy and there's just a uh, little drainage here. All the bait fish and all the debris they're getting washed up to this side. And uh, yeah, that fish just happened to be in the area of feeding and I got him. Oh, got one. Another one. There we go. This one feels pretty decent also. Oh, another good fish. This, this, this swim bait's doing some work. Good fish. Really good fish. Not as big as that last one, but still a good fish. He looks like he's just about done. There we go. Another fish. Another good fish. Not as big as that last one, but... Uh, Still pretty good. There's another look at him. Really nice fish. Probably just under two pounds. All right, let's let him go. All right, see you, fish. Thanks for biting. There he goes. When fishing small lakes like this, what you want to do is target these walls because literally all my casts were near these little walls here because this is where they pinned the bait fish so that's how i got all my bites basically <laughs> 